Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is Bush Mills Red Bush. This is an Irish whiskey coming in at 40% ABV, no age statement. Though on the back of the bottle it does tell us it's aged for a minimum of three years. But the interesting thing is that they actually matured this in bourbon casks. So should change up the profile a little bit on there compared to the original Bush and some other ones that I've covered, which I'll link above and down below. I'll be interested to see exactly what the differences are. Now, Bushmills is that budget Irish, and it, there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't matter what you drink or how you drink it, as long as you enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be trying this two different ways. First way, neat. No ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a little bit of water, see if anything changes up. Normally in Irish, it doesn't, but we do it just for the sake of science. Uh, already, yeah, I've, I've covered so far, I've done all the bush like budget ones. I've done the original. I've done the Irish honey, the sherry one I'll be doing um, soon, and then this one. I haven't done any of the age statement ones yet, which I'll be curious on how those are different even than standards. But I seen this one and it's not super popular in my area, but I was like, I'll give it a try. Very similar color to the original, maybe just a couple percents darker, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to do some AB comparisons with that one to see if there is because I'm very curious, but very similar color from what I remember. Let's go for notes. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get a little ABV on the nose, but the fruit, the fruit note on this one, getting a bit of apple in there and like apricots, bit of like, there's a sweetness, it's a caramel sweetness, but it's a little darker than caramel. Almost toffee-like on the nose. Get a bit of that oak in there, but it's very faint. But the fruit is jumping out of the glass on this one. If I would have, if you would have told me this was the sherry version, I wouldn't have argued. Like it's that kind of fruit, but it's it's sweet fruits, not dark fruits, I guess. So a little different on that. Mm, let's go for taste. A mm. little ABV on there, but doesn't hang around long. Actually, that's pretty damn good. Wow. Get a bit of that vanilla sweetness. That little bit of, it, it still reminds you of Irish. You still get a little bit of that shortbread uh, butteriness in there. But that fruit note, that apricot is really jumping well. Apricot, apples. Um, I'm just getting a lot of fruit sweetnesses going on here. Little bit of that oak in there, but it's really far back. It's really far back in there. I'm getting a bit of like just a bunch of fruit sweetness, almost pear-like now. It's got just a, a beautiful quality to it. Damn, I'm digging this. Again, the ABV is showing up a little bit on there and that's expected. Again, your budget ones tend to show that a little bit stronger. Mm. So I'm getting, getting the apricot, I'm getting apple. Getting a little bit of that oak in there. Getting a little bit of like a sweet pear in there. Getting a little sweetness going on with some vanilla. Mmm. That is actually not too shabby. I did not expect that. Cool. I love surprises. All right, let's try it with a bit of water. I love that. It's not, I did not expect this at all. Mm. Okay. Got our standard here. Actually, they're pretty damn close together. I I I mean if anything, this is dialed back maybe 10% of those same notes. I'm still getting the fruit, getting that bit of sweetness in there, getting that apricot. 
apple. A little bit of oak in there. ABV's dialed back a little bit too on the nose. But nice, lovely. Okay, let's go for taste. I don't believe this is bourbon casks. They had to get this mixed up. Because this does not even... My mind's blown right now on this one. I'm still getting a lot of that. It's not so much a single fruit. I'm getting a little bit of apple still and that little bit of apricot. But I'm getting more of a generalized fruit note now. That bit of sweetness in there. Almost, there's a bit of orange in there too. A little bit of oak. That fruit sweetness is there. Mm, that is actually pretty damn good. Yeah. Again, I'm still getting a little ABV on the taste. You can tell it's budget on the taste. It's a young whiskey. But that's not half bad. Very similar on the taste, but I think the only big thing that's really jumping out differently is more of a generalized fruit versus a actual pronounced fruit note in there, like specific fruits. Okay, well, let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price and it's gonna vary. I picked this up for 25 bucks. Uh, in my market, that's about what it usually runs at. Usually sometimes as high as 27, but not a lot of places carry this around me. Now uh, looking online, Flaviar.com has it for $14, 14 $14.99. At $14.99, this is a steal in my eyes. Thinking in that budget range on what I would pay for $14, I wouldn't have a, a lick of problem paying $14 for this bottle. Even at $25, I don't think that's a bad price on this. I've seen some places go as high as $30s on there. I think you're getting a little out of the range on it just because it still has that yeah young taste to it, that bit of alcohol sharpness. But I have to say... For that budget area for a uh, Irish, it'd be, it's good. That's really darn good. Wow. I'm, I'm, again, I'm surprised. I more recently did the original, and I was like, yeah, it's good. And before this one, um, earlier in the day, I did the Irish honey, and I go, yeah, it's good. Uh, it's okay. This really surprised me. I definitely give this a thumbs up in that budget range. So yeah, there you have it. Bush Mills Red Bush. If you have any questions about the bottle, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific spirits I should look for, also let me know down in the comment section below. I'm always on the hunt for something new and exciting to try. And as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one.